Hello, hello, welcome to Shady White. I'm Marilyn, and today we have auction bags. Hope everybody's doing great. As I said, my name is Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell right here on YouTube and multiple websites, and we bring everything to you first. Hope everybody's having a wonderful night and uh, weekend. Whenever you're watching this, we appreciate you coming back or stopping in and greeting us. Um, we would love for you to stay a while. If you love jewelry, this is the channel for you. We mainly do vintage pieces, but we do current. Um, mainly, I get the pieces either from our um, local jewelry auction. Um, we also get um, thread up boxes. Our local jewelry auction is pretty fabulous. We find such amazing pieces and um, we'd love to share those with you. We bring them to you at a discounted price from what we would put them on our online stores. Um, if you are interested, all you do is send us an email to one shadyy at gmail.com. In your email to us, be sure to give us an email that states a timestamp and um, a mailing address if you haven't purchased from us before. Uh, let's see, shipping is $5 in the United States. Under 12 ounces, anything over 12 ounces is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. Uh, you can read all this information right below in the description area. Just click more and it's right there. We also have a collaboration coming that we're very excited about. It will be um, this coming Monday and Tuesday, the 12th and 13th of February. Um, I will put in a schedule um, right here. So this is going to start on Monday, um, the 12th, and it's going to be 30-minute blocks. It's going to start at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Janet and Bryn with Happy Hour Haulers, Glamour's Closet, Pat Garza, myself at 7.30, Lindsay Clark finishing the day and then Tuesday the 13th it's going to start at 6 p.m. with Stina Resells, Christina, Steph Style, Kristen D, Another Chance Resell, My Mama and Me, Deborah, Timeless Jewel by Deborah, and Jamie's finishing it off at aka The Bag Lady. So be sure to join us on Monday and Tuesday. And in that schedule has all the creators that will be in it. Collaborations are fun. We put them up and you can come and talk to us in the premiere on the site in the chat. Ask us anything. We would love um, participation. Um, it's just a really good time of being able to speak with the creators and learn more details. Um, let me think. This is two bags and um, one is Sterling Lapis uh, Cornelian and Costume. And the other one is Sterling Gemstones. And um, the it also says coral, but I know the coral sold out of this. Um, somebody picked a piece out of it before I locked down the, um, the tray. What happens is um, I go, I see, or I see it online, and then I go in, I bid, and hopefully I can get some pretty amazing pieces for you guys. All right, so I'm going to scoot this all over to the side. And um, definitely, we would appreciate, if you haven't already, subscribe to us. Um, we are 100 um, subscribers away from 4,000 subscribers. We it just blows my mind with that. Um, we are so appreciative. Um, at 4,000, we will be doing a fabulous giveaway um, and I haven't figured out what it is yet, but I try to um, bring you a really, really a fun pe uh, giveaways. So for 4000 I hope to have a really, really amazing one. So if you haven't already taken the time to subscribe below, please do so. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps us out tremendously. We love comments. We love thumbs up. Um, so let's push these over. I have had... Um, these trays, I think for a while, um, one uh, for only about two months, that's the gemstone and sterling. But these pieces, the glass and the costume and the cornelian lapis, 
I have been holding on because I love these pieces. I'm going to show you the most magnificent one right now. Okay, this one is pretty spectacular. Okay, um, I believe that this might have been a commission piece um, just because of the size and the design of it. It looks like, and I have no reason to know, they did not sign their pieces, but this looks very, very similar to the style and um, design of Deliza and Esther, who was the makers of Juliana. Okay, I'm not saying this is a Juliana piece whatsoever. However, this looks very much similar to pieces that um, were made by them and a couple things one they used foil um, um, art glass a lot they used open glass a lot in the back they had puddling on the back of theirs this is all puddled um, they had a, a set that looked extremely like this it um, was this and this same hook an eye that is being used on this shepherd's hook um, with the dangles. And I believe this one was commissioned um, because I've never seen anything like this. It has two um, of, of these shields, um, four of these um, dangles. Let's get it all on the camera. And then this is crazy long, um, which you didn't normally see. Um, Back in the 50s and 60s, when they were producing, um, people generally wore really, really um, high collars. And this is a little longer. Um, there is some scratching on um, the purple. The rest of them are in really good condition. There is one prong set missing right here. Prong. Actually, just prong. It's not... Um, any the set or anything it's just one prong missing right here it's very very stable um these are all prong set every single piece in here is prong set um this is an extremely um uh well made piece um one similarish okay and i'll put it in here um showing you uh, the style and um, sold for $1,200. So this is on Ruby Lane. This is sold. It has the gold foil art glass per set, which means um, necklace, earrings, bracelet. We only have the necklace. And this um, is by Deliza and Elster. Um, and um, very much so like what, what ours is with the design. Um, just gives you an idea. This one here has longer um, uh, strand like ours um, with the shepherd's hook and with dangles further around. They just made incredibly beautiful jewelry. And... Um, I'm not saying that it's 100% them. I'm just saying it's a very representative like theirs. And um, it wasn't as big as this. Um, however, because that one prong is missing and because I don't know, um, I am going to sell this or price this, I would say, at um, $300. And I think it is stunning. Let me give you a size of how long um, the blue is to the shepherd's hook. It is 24 inches with an additional inch and a half, excuse me, inch and a half. And then the drop on it is a four and seven eighths and it is three and a quarter wide. But I'm gonna do 300 on this and I think that is an absolutely, um, Amazing deal. It is stunning. Um, love it. And the colors just blow me away. Once again, it is gold on the back and there's puddling. And that is very popular 
for that brand. Next, we have this glass twisted um, necklace in a light blue with silver tone beading. Um, it has a 925 thumb clasp, um, but the um, beads are not sterling, just the clasp. It is 16 inches with a three inch extension. And on this one, I'm just gonna say, let's do $6. This one is gorgeous. This is glass, but this is stunning. This is definitely older. It is um, looks like cornelian glass. Um, these beautiful um, rondelles. And the tubes on here are painted um, a rust color also to go with the beads. It is um, short. I believe it is only... Uh, 16 inches and it is brass um, but that is gorgeous love 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 these beads um, I thought it was cornelian but it is glass it's testing as glass definitely and the rondelles are like a black so it's a very very unique beautiful piece love it now this is got to be one of my favorite pieces. I love this. First off, I love cornelian. Um, one of my favorite stones, and that's what this is, um, sterling silver. I think this is a very unique um, pendant. Um, definitely patinaed, has one dangling cornelian. Um, I have tested everything here. I've tested all the sterling. I've tested all the gemstones multiple ways. Um, so what I say is glass is tested as glass and, um, what I say is tested as gemstones has tested as the gemstones. And I also use an app on gemstones too, to follow up. Um, this is a beautiful rope chain, um, that has a thumb clasp. The rope chain is 24 inches. It is marked 925. And let me see what else it says. It says something else, but I just can't read it. And also on the back of the pendant, it's Mark 925. But uh, stunning. And um, as I said, it has um, multiple cornelian. And on this, I'm going to say $70. I just love that piece next we have a lapis piece with sterling silver i love this braided sterling silver i think it is gorgeous um just a pretty braided sterling um pendant with lapis and then it has these um great sterling beads um, lapis sterling beads more lapis, more sterling beads, and a really intricate um, uh, sterling silver shepherd's hook, or uh, hook, rather, I should say, hook and eye. This one is, I'm going to do a flat lay on this one. It's 18 inches, and on this one, I'm going to do um, $65. That is stunning. This I love. Um, it's my favorite part. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, next we have these beautiful earrings. I love these. Very um, uh, vintage feel to them. Very romantic. Has a heart here. I thought this was very appropriate for this time of year. Um, sterling silver. Um, marked on the back. It says 925 Thailand. Um, on both of them, it says the same thing. And um, they have the original backs on them. I think these are just beautiful. I'm going to do $25 for these. Then we have um, this uh, costume heart with Aurora Borealis. 
I would say this is probably from the 60s or after with these black rhinestones and aurora borealis. Um, there's the back. I'm going to say it's actually a little older than that. Uh, newer than that could be from the 70s um, even the 80s with this um, type of clasp it is um, a sweet piece and I'm just going to do five dollars on that one on this one um, it is gold tone it says something let's see what it says this is a Monet um, gold tone with um rhinestones and it's an open um weave really really pretty and on the monet i'm going to do ten dollars of that next we have um scoot these over we have a few more hearts we have um this one which is signed on the back 925 over here um 925 sd cubic zirconia um i tested all of them definitely cubic zirconia nothing's missing this is um an open dangle heart so the um chain goes through here and the heart dangles like so and um, just a beautiful piece, I think. And on this one, I'm just going to do $12 of that one. Then we have this um, really sweet um, heart spoon ring. Two hearts. Um, it is adjustable. Right now, it is set at... an eight and it is signed it says let me find it again it says nine two five c s and i can't tell what the last initial is but i thought that was really pretty for valentine's day so on this one i'm gonna say let's do um $22. I just love that one. Then we have this really sweet um, spoon ring. This is signed. Um, hmm, it's cut off. Something inland. And it has IS. I don't know if this one's sterling. Did I? I can't remember. I think this is supposed to be sterling. Yeah. There's your blue. <laughs> I don't know why. Sometimes it's like I just can't remember. Um, uh, I test everything and then I don't remember testing it. Um, so on this one, it's a really nice heavy ring. It is sweet with this kind of floral uh, pattern here. And it is a size nine and a half. Um, which is a great pinky ring if it would fit me, but I need a 10 um, for my, uh, not pinky ring, for my pointer finger, but I think that is a really good heavy uh, pointer ring um, or center ring because um, it just looks good if that's the only ring you're wearing. So um, I think heavy rings are really good for the pointer and... Um, Middle finger, but then again, some of those dainty rings just look so good. Um, and on this one, I'm going to say, let's do uh, $20. Then we have this one, which is cubic zirconia. It says 925 and FAS, which is a um, uh, sterling company. A lot of people say it's few silver. It is not. Look it up. <laughs> that has been going around the internet forever, but it is not. Um, it is a company, and it's FAS. They're a distributor of sterling silver pieces. They've been around for a really long time. 
Um, many of the pieces will say China. They say India. They also say um, uh, Italy. So um, they are a quality company. Um, so if you have an FAS piece, a lot of people are like, oh, that's just FAS. That's a few silver. No, it's not. It's a good sterling silver piece. So um, this is a size nine and a half. It is, as I said, cubic zirconia. It goes all the way around. Nothing missing. And I'm going to say, let's do $22 on that one. Here we have, um, let's do this one. It's a little butterfly pendant. It is glass. It is multiple shades of blue. Um, it is signed on the back, um, 925. It is a sweet little butterfly. And I'm just gonna say, let's do 15 on the butterfly. We have this piece, which I love. This is um, signed 925 and it is um, citrine. It is a teardrop. It has a swirl, um, really nicely done. It is um, a nice open design here. And it is a size six and a quarter. But that is a beautiful ring, I think. And on this one, I'm going to do $30 with the citrine and uh, 925 Vermeil. Uh, just a gorgeous ring. And it is a uh, six and a quarter. Beautiful. And on this one, I'm going to do $30. Then we have this one. I thought this was cubic zirconia. I was wrong. It is signed 925. Um, and some other stuff I can't read on the inside. These are cubic zirconia all on the sides and on the surround. It is a heart-shaped pink tourmaline. Um, really sweet piece. It is um, an eight and a quarter. And I'm going to say $30 on that one. We have this sweet little onyx. I love this. I love sweet little onyx pieces. This is an FAS again. This is 925. Well done. Um, a great midi ring or pinky ring. Um, uh, if you have a size 7, beautiful for any finger. For me, it either has to be a pinky or a midi because it um, is too small. But I love little onyx rings that just make a statement. And on this one, I'm going to say let's just do $22. We have this one, which I think is interesting. This one is marked 925. Has a lot of patina. Has these cool, um, like, chevron... Um, interesting marks and it's a shadow boxed inside inside is heavily patina on the outside it's less this is a size um nine um eight and three fourths um it would clean up extremely well if you wanted it to be or keep it that nice black on the interior and on this one i'm gonna say let's just do twenty dollars then we have this cross. It's on a hinged bale. Um, it's open work. It's Vermeil. It is signed. Let's see if I can get that to show. First off, I have to find it. It's signed right here, 925. Um, that's the back. That's the front. Really a pretty piece. It is a gold tone. Um, however, if you wanted to shine this up, it would be easy because it is a Vermeil. Um, and on this one, I'm just going to say let's do 15. And I do love that big um, hinge bell that could probably slide over beads. So that would be interesting to put it on a beaded necklace. It is closed. It um, does not open the bell. Then we have um, these earrings, okay? These are sweet stud marcosite. They um, test up at the um, jazz, I mean the um, jadeite line. However, I'm not sure if they are jadeite. Um, 
but that's where they test. There's no missing marcasites, and I love this teardrop shape to it. These are signed um, Nevada Silver 925. They have their original bags in excellent condition. They don't look used, and they are a beautiful stud. And on these, I'm going to say $20. Then we have these two puffy hearts. I love puffy heart. I'm a big puffy heart kind of girl. Um, this is 925 and um, beautiful Victorian style. I don't know if it is Victorian. As I know, I don't think it is Victorian because it is 925. Not that they didn't use 925. They did, especially European. Americans generally use sterling. Um, but I would probably say this is um, a newer piece than that. Um, but it is that definite puffy style. Um, and on this one, I'm going to say let's do $18. And the last one we have is this one. It is marked Sterling on the back. Let me see if it says anything else. No, just written out sterling. Now, this one probably is Victorian. It says love across the front, has two flowers, it's puffy, and this one would probably be Victorian. And on this one, I'm going to say let's do um, $20 also. So what'd you think? I thought these were two great bags. I enjoyed them and I hope you did too. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite. Be sure to join us again on um, our daily shorts that we do uh, um, listing at 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time daily. Um, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, if you see anything that interests you, send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. Thank you so much. We appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.